We're going to move next to Cleveland, where they were trying to eradicate a haunting memory today. They demolished that house where the women were held captive for a decade, and one of those women came to bear witness. Here's ABC's Alex Perez. Yeah! For more than a decade, it served as a prison. But with crowds cheering in a little more than an hour, the Cleveland House of Horrors reduced to rubble. Valiantly standing there watching one of the women who thought she'd never get out of that house alive, Michelle Knight. For more than 10 years, Ariel Castro held Knight, Amanda Berry, and Gina de Jesus hostage inside this home. There were vigils for Amanda and Gina, but not for Michelle. At his sentencing hearing, Castro himself said nobody even looked for her. Today, Knight is taking up the mantle of the missing, releasing yellow balloons for the more than 85,000 people still not found. Nobody was there for me when I was missing. And I want the people out there to know, including the mothers, that they can have strength, they can have hope, and their child will come back. Michelle has described her fellow captive, Gina, as her teammate. And today, Gina's aunt was in the excavator, delivering the first blow to that house. Knowing that it's, it's coming down, you know, now there will be closure for the whole family. Closure from the pain they endured for more than a decade. Glimpses of that misery seen as the house came down. The pink room where they were restrained. A Christmas tree in the attic where they were sometimes forced to sit for days in stifling heat. The physical reminders of all that pain now gone. And tonight, Diane, as you can see, there's nothing but an empty lot left where that home once stood. Officials tell me for the time being, they will be planting grass and wildflowers there. As for Ariel Castro, he's serving that life sentence. He is in solitary confinement 23 hours a day, sitting in a 12-foot by 8-foot cell.